to the Italian Football Podcast. Edin Dzeko. Um, I want to I want to talk about Edin Dzeko and I want some respect put in mm. put in Edin Dzeko's name because the disrespect that Dzeko gets especially from Inter fans but also a lot from Roman fans and I saw a lot from a lot I, get, I see a lot of disrespect that Dzeko gets from Roman fans about how he misses so many he used to miss so many chances for Roma how you know playing with him you know was almost like being a man down at times and I just think you know I just think it's incredible really I mean Dzeko what well, he won the game for Inter uh, last night um and you know a big game um and you know he's Inter's top scorer this season he's 36 years old he's going to be 37 in two months time mm. which is just insane he's Inter's top scorer he's hit double figures again already and we're not even we're not even halfway through the season we've only played is it 16 games in the Serie A season the Serie a. 16 yeah. in the Serie A we haven't had any Coppa Italia games we're not in the knockouts of the Champions we're, we're knockouts of the Champions League haven't started yet um, you know, he's already in double figures. And he's I just think... He's got seven in the Serie A and three in the Champions League. Yeah. And and, it's, and, he, and like he's shown that he performs in the big games and at clutch moments. You know, unlike Lukaku, who I thought Lukaku did all right yesterday. He, I mean, he wasn't great, but I thought he did a job and he, and, he was, and, he, and he was useful. He gives into something differently that if he can stay fit, it will be useful. But Dzeko turns up and he scores. And, you know, that's something that Lukaku has never really done in his career, to be honest with you. Whereas Dzeko, he's always there when it really when it matters in the big matches. And, you know, he's in great form. Four goals in his last three games. Um, for me, Inter have to give him a new one-year contract. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, when you have someone like Di Marco, who we mentioned before, with, with such an incredible delivery, Dzeko is, is perfect for that because he gives Inter an aerial threat that the other attackers don't. Lautaro... <laughs> Is he's, he's actually not bad in the air, Lautaro, no, but you know, he's, he's quite so, short. Yeah. Um, Lukaku should be great in the air, but he's actually not at all. Uh, and <laughs> Correa, just Correa. Um, he's, <laughs> he's just, not, he's just, not, he's just <laughs> no, the scientists are working around the clock to find out his use yeah. on, on the football pitch because they, they we've, we're yet to find that out. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but I mean, to get to the point, to get to the point, uh, number one. Edin Dzeko's disrespected way too much now, as of now, as he is as a player now at 36, 37 years old. He's still an incredibly useful player. The number of goals he scored and in his performances in big games like this, he also scored those two goals against Atalanta, didn't he, in the last match before the break, mm. um, has shown how useful he still is. Um, but the bigger point I wanted to make really is that he should be regarded as a Serie A legend now. I mean, he came to Serie A at the age of 29 years old He's now only four goals away from 150 goals since moving to Italy. And, I mean, that's an, that's an insane <clears throat> record. At that age, you know, 29, you know, m- moving, let's say, past his peak, really, when he, mm. when he came to Serie A. Um, and I just, think he's, I just think he's one of the most underrated and most disrespected players of his generation. He scored 332 club goals in his career, 64 international goals. His longevity is incredible. He's been at the top for 15 years. 15 years ago... He was he was at Wolfsburg and he he uh, twenty twenty I think it was yeah fifteen years ago fifteen seasons ago he had that season where he led Wolfsburg to the um, to the title and he scored thirty six thirty five thirty six yeah. goals with Barzagli you know, Zaccardo that's Vezran, right yeah. Simovic and Grafita yeah I exactly that. I and he was that, and, yeah. and that was you know that's fifteen years ago I mean how many players have been at the top for 15 years. You know, obviously Ronaldo, Messi, I mean, maybe not Ronaldo anymore, but, you know, there's not many, is there, that have been at the top for that long? You know, you can name it maybe on one hand, players that have been top-class players for 15 years uh, in any in any era, but in this era, maybe only a handful. Uh, he's been a big star in three different leagues, the Bundesliga, then in the, the Premier League, he won both of those leagues. Uh, and now with um, you know, and now uh, with uh, in Serie A, okay, he hasn't won the league, but he's won trophies, and and I, I've said it so many times. Well, I mean, he set a goal-scoring record for Roma, didn't he? The most yeah. they, in in a season in the Serie A. Look, yeah. I think the problem with with Jeco is not, you know, I think yesterday what we saw it was a bit ironic because Di Marco, Darmian, Lukaku. These they all did what Jekyll usually does, and that is miss sitters. Um, whilst Jekyll was clinical, <laughs> which is something you'd expect the others to, or Lukaku when he's at his best, he's he's, he's much more clinical um, in, in front of goal, regardless of you know if we you know who he's playing. But yesterday was roles reversed, and the thing that Jekyll does, which I think is the most you know the most impressive thing about him, 
is the intelligence, again, the football IQ that he has and Mikitarian have, the experience as well. But with Dzeko, it's he he knows he can't beat defenders for pace and speed. So instead he fools them with and he does it time and time again. And he's done it throughout his you know, this is something he developed when he came to the Serie A. He used to do it to some extent in, in Germany and in, in Premier League as well. But ever since that second season at Roma, when he really exploded, this is um, this is something he's 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 been doing, and it's really interesting. What he does is he <laughs> he tricks defenders. He makes one movement with his body in one direction, and then immediately once he sees that okay, he's bought, he's taken the bait, the defender, he switches around, he goes the other way. Um, and and he doesn't and and and, he, and the, you look at the goal yesterday, Rahmani. He did that. He completely fooled Rahmani uh, yesterday when he did that. He went one way and then stopped, took one step and then went the other. And it all happened so quickly. And and this is what's so intelligent and so impressive about him: his ability to to really, you know, to to. to that, that displays his intelligence, you know, his read of the game, you know, when he drops deep and he creates games. I mean, look at the Darmian chance. That's that's all Dzeko, knowing when knowing what's gonna happen before it happens. You know, it's it's not just link up like Lukaku is much more of a kind of quote unquote simpler player that way. Dzeko's link up oh creates geometria, as they say in Italy. He sees he sees he sees movements and 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 and, and spaces that aren't there yet before they happen and he helps create them and just by doing that he makes everyone around him better just as long as they just continue running you know the way that they are um you know finish the run they jeko creates things that that you don't see um that, 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 that otherwise aren't there and and that is such such an incredibly impressive weapon to have 